Currently, the Milky Way appears in a way different from what it looked like in the past. Two decades ago, our parents witnessed a Milky Way filled with stars, a stark contrast to the present view. This suggests that the Milky Way we observe today is vastly inferior to what our parents experienced. Unfortunately, if this trend continues, future generations may never have the opportunity to witness the Milky Way firsthand. They would only be able to glimpse it through old photographs, missing out on the live experience. Welcome to Spaceverse, your cosmic hub for unraveling the wonders of the universe. Dive into topics like the disappearing Milky Way, the impact of light pollution, and explore the intriguing connections between human activities and the cosmos. Subscribe now for a journey through space and time with Spaceverse. Research detailed in the Journal of Science reveals a concerning decline. In 2011, one could witness 100 stars simultaneously from a location. But as of now, that number has dwindled to a mere 34 stars. This reduction signifies a significant change in our night sky, extending beyond just the stars and encompassing the broader panorama of the Milky Way. This is a substantial issue, illustrating the formidable impact of human existence on the planet. It highlights how our dominance is jeopardizing the future of Earth. An intriguing observation is that currently, only seven locations in India offer a view of the Milky Way. This situation mirrors what happened in America starting from 1994. The severity of the issue is evident when people in the United States, upon spotting a grayish-white cloud in the sky, felt compelled to call the emergency service 911 out of fear. This emphasizes the urgency of addressing the environmental consequences of human activities. In 1994, an earthquake struck Los Angeles at 4.30 in the morning, causing widespread chaos and leading to a city-wide power outage. With the city plunged into darkness, residents emerged from their homes to address the issues with the disrupted city lights. As they gazed upwards, they were astonished by the night sky, which they typically saw like this from their urban surroundings. However, on that particular night, the sky was exceptionally clear, revealing stars, planets and even satellites with remarkable clarity. While observing the celestial display, they noticed a grayish-white cloud in the sky, prompting concerns of an impending meteor or asteroid impact. Fearing for their safety, they urgently contacted the U.S. Emergency Service, 911, seeking assistance. Upon arrival, emergency responders discovered that the source of their anxiety was, in fact, the Milky Way galaxy. While the incident may sound amusing, it highlights an underlying issue. The individuals who reported the event were not children but adults, averaging around 30 years old. Surprisingly, despite reaching adulthood, they had never before witnessed the Milky Way. This raises questions about the significance of such an experience and underscores a larger concern, the lack of awareness about the ability to observe the Milky Way in real life. If a similar scenario unfolded in a place like South Africa, the impact could be significant on the lives of certain insects. In Africa, there are insects, such as the dung beetle, whose entire existence is intricately tied to the clarity of the Milky Way in the night sky. A notable study conducted by biologist Mary Dackey and her team in 2013 focused on these beetles in South Africa. They observed that the beetles, known for moving in a straight line at night without any visual landmarks, presented a mystery to researchers. The eyes of insects like the dung beetle consist of numerous small lenses, making them incapable of focusing on point objects like stars, which appear dim to them. This raised the question of how these beetles managed to navigate in complete darkness without the aid of stars. To investigate, scientists conducted experiments, taking the beetles to the Johannesburg Planetarium, where they could project an artificial night sky through a projector. Here, they could manipulate starlight to understand how these insects found their way. During their experiments, scientists discovered a fascinating correlation between the beetles' behavior and the Milky Way. They hypothesized that the beetles might be following a specific arm of the Milky Way in the sky. To confirm this, they altered the direction of the Milky Way's arm multiple times in the planetarium. Their results validated their hypothesis. Every time the direction of the arm changed, the beetles followed suit, consistently moving in a straight line. This correlation suggests that the beetles heavily rely on the Milky Way for navigation. The potential consequence of this reliance is significant. If the visibility of the Milky Way were to diminish, the behavior of these beetles might change. This could disrupt their ability to find food regularly, raising concerns about their survival and overall existence. 
The study underscores the intricate connections between celestial phenomena and the behavior of Earth's diverse inhabitants. Indeed, it's not just limited to beetles. Numerous animals, including the indigo bunting bird and sea turtles, exhibit behavior traits that rely on the Milky Way or starlight for their survival. The potential extinction of these animals could disrupt the entire food chain, creating a ripple effect that may eventually impact humans and jeopardize the ecosystem. To understand and address this issue, scientists are determined to uncover the reasons behind the disappearance of the Milky Way and stars. Intriguingly, extensive research conducted by thousands of scientists has revealed a unique form of pollution responsible for this phenomenon – light pollution. In 2014, physicist Fabio Falci, the president of the National Association for Protection of Night Environment in Italy, conducted a comprehensive study of the night sky. Falci compared observations from over 35,000 ground telescopes, creating a scale to assess the quality of the night sky. He focused on common galaxies like Andromeda and Triangulum, and the brightest planet, Jupiter, calculating their brightness or dimness at different locations. Based on these calculations, Falci categorized the night sky into different classes and mapped them on a global scale. This research highlighted the widespread impact of light pollution, offering a key insight into the diminishing visibility of the Milky Way and stars. The findings underscore the urgency of addressing light pollution to preserve the natural balance of ecosystems and protect the diverse species that depend on celestial cues for their survival. The map you've described clearly illustrates the varying quality of the night sky across different regions. The areas shaded in dark gray represent the best quality night skies, allowing for a clear view of the Milky Way galaxy. However, as the color changes to brighter shades and ultimately turns white, the quality of the night sky deteriorates, making stars less visible. Taking India as an example, the capital city, Delhi, experiences poor night sky quality, while the Rajasthan Desert, just 800 kilometers southwest, boasts the best quality night sky. This pattern is not unique to India. It extends to developed and populated cities worldwide, such as Mumbai, Hyderabad, New York, Paris and London. The common factor is the negative correlation between population density, development, and the quality of the night sky. Highly developed areas tend to have worse night sky visibility due to excessive use of artificial lights. While one might think that simply shutting down lights could remedy the situation, it's not that straightforward. Even with reduced artificial lighting, the Milky Way remains challenging to observe. The map reveals another pattern. Areas with high levels of air pollution coincide with cities where the night sky quality is compromised. The presence of dust particles in the air, exacerbated by air pollution, scatters light, further diminishing the visibility of celestial bodies. Consequently, the combined impact of light and air pollution contributes to the gradual disappearance of the Milky Way and stars from our night sky. The potential difficulty in seeing the Milky Way in the future is influenced by yet another emerging pattern as highlighted by a 2016 study conducted by scientists from the American Academy of Ophthalmology. The study analyzed surveys related to various eye diseases and presented findings through a graph. According to this graph, by the year 2050, nearly half of the world's population could be affected by myopia, a condition characterized by weakened vision for distant objects. This trend is attributed to the increasing screen time of individuals, leading to direct blurring of their vision. Professor Rupert Bourne, an eye specialist at the University of Anglia, explained that prolonged focus on nearby objects strains the ciliary muscles, which play a role in adjusting the lenses of the eye. The ciliary muscles facilitate the conversion of lenses, becoming flat to see distant things and curved to see near things. When these muscles are tight, the lens becomes curved, and when relaxed, the lens becomes flat, sending a clear image of distant objects to the brain. Prolonged periods of close-up activities strain these ciliary muscles, preventing them from relaxing. As a result, the lens remains locked in a curved position, causing blurred vision. Singapore serves as a notable example of this phenomenon, as it has become the world's myopia capital, with 80% of the population experiencing myopia. Interestingly, Singapore also experiences high levels of light pollution. This correlation suggests that, following the current trend, Singapore might be the first country where a significant portion of the population will be unable to see the Milky Way. This underscores the potential impact of lifestyle changes and emerging trends on our ability to experience the wonders of the night sky. 
The predicament faced by Singapore serves as a poignant example. If the trends of increasing ID facts and light pollution persist, it's predicted that by the end of the 21st century, the Milky Way may become invisible not only in Singapore, but in other countries as well. While this is a forecast based on current trends and not an exact prediction, it prompts us to ponder the transient nature of our ability to observe celestial wonders. Looking billions of years into the future, the fate of the Milky Way on Earth becomes uncertain. Natural changes, such as continuous volcanic eruptions leading to a sky covered with clouds, are anticipated to impact visibility. Additionally, the expansion of the universe over time will eventually cause all stars, including those in the Milky Way, to drift away from Earth. Eventually, the center of the Milky Way that we see today will be obscured, and the sky will transform into a deep, impenetrable darkness. While these natural changes are expected in the distant future, the current concern is the accelerated process of the Milky Way becoming less visible due to human activities. A recent example underscores the impact of human-induced changes on climate and weather patterns. Just four years ago, a severe cold wave hit America, causing temperatures to plummet in Texas, the hottest state, to as low as minus 18 degrees Celsius. This unusual event occurred because shifts in weather patterns, attributed to factors like the Industrial Revolution, pollution, and human activities, led to disruptions in the normal circulation of cold winds around the North Pole affecting regions far from the Arctic Circle, such as Texas. This serves as a tangible reminder of how human actions can rapidly alter natural processes, impacting not only the climate, but also our ability to witness celestial phenomena like the Milky Way. And that's it. Thank you for joining us on this cosmic expedition with Spaceverse. If you enjoyed our journey through the universe and want to stay updated on all things space, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and ring the notification bell. Feel free to share your farts, questions, or suggestions in the comments below.